What is going on, guys? Grave here today. Let's talk about what you consider to be in-game content. What makes an in-game player? And in my opinion, all the things I'm about to talk about are going to be considered in-game for me. I, I, everybody may not agree, but there's a lot of different things out there that you can consider in-game content. And kind of what started the whole video idea for me personally was yesterday's video when I was talking about the new furnishing plans coming out with Update 31. There's a lot of players out there that consider housing to be in-game. Uh, for them, you know, particularly, you know, may not be everyone's cup of tea. Everybody may not love housing, but there's a lot of players out there that go out and farm all the mats, uh, farm all the different recipes, or even spend loads of gold on buying all these recipes and coming up with new ways to design homes. And that takes a lot of time, a lot of money, a lot of energy, and that can definitely be considered in game, in my opinion. If you enjoy that, and that's what you want to do with your time in the Elder Scrolls Online, when you get to a certain point in the game and you really don't feel like you have nothing else to do, I think that is perfectly fine. It also can be said for people that like to play PvP. I used to play a lot more PvP back in the day than I do now. I'm not much of a Cyrodiil player anymore. I do play Battlegrounds here and there. Uh, I will go in Imperial, uh, Imperial City from time to time. But overall, there's players out there you know, that just love to grind out a PvP content, and that's really all they care about. They don't care about in-game PvE stuff or really doing any kind of PvE stuff at all after they get their character ranked up to le uh, level 50 and start grinding out CP levels. And if you're a person that loves to play PvP, you know, that's perfectly fine as well. Uh, that's one thing that I really think it's good about the Elder Scrolls Online. There's going to be a lot of different options of things you can do when you get to a certain point and you feel like, you know, you're looking for what you want to do, you know, kind of in game, uh, you know, kind of as your, I guess what you would call your end game content or, you know, you're kind of, you're just what you want to do overall after you, after you've grinded out all your gear, after you got all your monster hounds, after you got everything golded out, uh, you just, a lot of people have different ideas of what they think should be in game content. Uh, you can even look at it as a point of uh, achievement hunting. A lot of people like to go out there and get every single title, every single achievement and make sure all that's completed. Uh, some people like to go out and, and do trials and you know, you don't have to necessarily do vet trifecta runs to be considered an in game trial player. There's some players out there. I know that that's all they do. They only really play vet in game trials and, they don't really do much else with the game and people say so they might be a little too sweaty or too hardcore, but if that's what they enjoy, you know, more power to them. I, I don't have a problem with that whatsoever, but I also have known groups of players like to go out and complete every uh, trial, maybe do some of them on normal, maybe do the, you know, the plus ones, two, threes, that kind of thing, and then work their way up to uh, vet trials, but maybe not necessarily going just for those crazy, insane speed runs and no death runs and stuff when it comes to vet trials. They're wanting to get a good group of people together and just learn, learn the mechanics of the game, have a good time. Uh, if that's what you do, no matter how you look at trials, whether you're playing, you know, just on normal, maybe some vet here and there, or if you're playing vet and trying to go for all the trifecta runs, either way you want to look at it, that is considered in game, in my opinion. Kind of like I said a little bit ago, that's what's great about the Elder Scrolls Online. There's so many different things you can do at a point uh, when you want to consider yourself an in game player, no matter what it may be. There's a lot of things you can do uh, to uh, really enjoy the game after. You know, after you've leveled up, after you've got a lot of CP, after you've grinded out gear, all that kind of stuff. So leave me a comment. What do you consider in-game for yourself? Do you uh, prefer to do PvE content, PvP content? Are you an achievement hunter? Uh, are you a, a person who likes to go in and do trials and get all the skins, that kind of stuff? Uh, I'm kind of curious what you guys think. I, it's very interesting to me to look at what everyone in the community kind of does. I mean, there's a lot of people out there, like I said, kind of at the start that love housing and can do some incredible things with housing and incredible designs, incredible uses of furniture that a lot of people would not think of just to uh, use. A lot of people use furniture normally. You know, they'll just say, oh, this is a chair. This is, a, you know, a, a desk of some sort or a um, statue. And we're just going to place it here like you would a normal home. Some people use these ideas and make wonderful creations. Some people use these uh, pieces of furniture and, and not very, uh, I guess you would say, Typical ways, you know, the people may use a shelf to uh, steps instead of a shelf on the wall. It's just, there's so much different content that's available within the Elder Scrolls Online that you can consider yourself an in-game player in just about anything within the game. So leave me a comment with your thoughts. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course, the affiliate here on the channel, Empire Jerky. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.